Laboratory Equipments, Part 01 Introduction to the module This module will introduce you to several types of laboratory equipment. You will also gain an understanding of the operation of these pieces of equipment, as well as the proper maintenance and safety precautions. Topics to be covered Introduction to Laboratory Equipments General Labware Types and Functions of Labware Bottles Test Tubes Beakers Graduated Cylinders Flasks Pipettes Care and Cleaning of Labware Safety Precautions Introduction to Laboratory Equipments Clinical laboratories use glassware, plasticware and general laboratory equipment. This labware is used to prepare and store reagents and specimens. The types of equipment depend on a laboratory's size, what tests are performed, and how many. Much labware is single use to avoid contamination. Glassware There are three types of glass used to make lab glassware. Flint glass is inexpensive but has a lower resistance to chemicals and heat. It is often made into disposable test tubes. Borosilicate glass is resistant to temperatures and chemicals. It is used for beakers, flasks, and reusable glassware. Quartz glass is more expensive. It offers good light transmission without distortion and is used in cuvettes for spectrophotometers. Plasticware Plasticware is lightweight and resistant to impact and corrosion. Most aqueous solutions do not affect them, but they can bind and release solutes. Three plastics used for labware are polyethylene, polypropylene, and polystyrene. Polyethylene and polystyrene containers are inexpensive, clear, and disposable, though not heat resistant. Polypropylene containers are opaque or translucent, heat resistant, and can be heat sterilized. Types and functions of labware. Functions of labware depend on their design and manufacturing standards. Some are used for non critical measurements, estimated or approximate measurements. These are separated into approximate glassware and measuring glassware. Other labware is used for critical measurements, which need precise accuracy. Bottles. Glass and plastic reagent bottles are made in different sizes and types. Plastic is used for non-reactive reagents. Low-quality glass that releases ions cannot be used for long storage. Brown plastic or glass bottles are used for light-sensitive reagents. Test tubes Plastic and glass test tubes have many uses. They cannot be used for critical measurements. Tests requiring heating or a centrifuge need heat-resistant and durable test tubes. Figure, test tube Beakers Beakers are used for estimating liquid volume, mixing solutions, or holding liquids. A beaker is labeled with its capacity in milliliters and its estimated accuracy. The beaker with a capacity closest to a liquid's volume should be used. Figure, beakers with markings Graduated cylinders Graduated cylinders have straight sides, a flared base, and a volume scale. They are more accurate than beakers or flasks but are not used for critical measurements. Graduated cylinder capacities range from 5 to 2,000 milliliters. Figure, graduated cylinders, A, graduated cylinders with markings, B, observing the meniscus in a graduated cylinder. Flasks Flasks have enlarged bodies and narrow necks. Erlenmeyer flasks have flat bottoms, narrowing sides, and approximate capacity markings. They range from 10 to 4,000 milliliters. Volumetric flasks are pear-shaped and used for critical measurements, guaranteed to hold certain volumes at specific temperatures. The capacity, tolerance level and correct fill level are marked. Figure, flasks, left. Volumetric flasks, right, Erlenmeyer flasks. Pipettes. Pipettes are disposable labware used for transferring small volumes of liquid. There are quantitative pipettes, burette pipettes, and micro pipettes. Quantitative pipettes.
quantitative pipettes measure volumes with significant accuracy, often in drops. These pipettes come in a range of sizes, up to 50 milliliters. Volumetric and serological pipettes Volumetric pipettes have a large bulb and are calibrated for a single volume. They are more accurate than serological pipettes. Serological pipettes deliver different solution volumes. They are graduated from the tip. Figure, volumetric pipette with bulb. Figure, serological pipette that is graduated with a frosted ring. More pipettes. More pipettes are graduated and have marked lines that indicate calibrated volumes. A liquid's volume is found by calculating the difference in the liquid level before and after dispensing. Figure, more pipette without graduation markings near the tip. Burette pipettes. Burette pipettes are similar to serological pipettes but use a valve to control solution flow for precise accuracy. Figure, burette pipette with support stand. Using a burette. Fill a burette using a funnel or transfer pipette, then take an initial volume reading at the bottom of the meniscus. Turn the burette's stopcock to deliver the solution. Slow the flow in the final milliliters for greater control. Micropipettes and micropipettes. Micropipettes deliver extremely small volumes with precision and accuracy. Mechanics of micropipettes. Disposable pipette tips are used to draw and dispense liquid. These tips are changed between transfers. To pressing the plunger button to the first stop draws in liquid. To pressing to the second stop dispenses the liquid. Semi-quantitative pipettes. Semi-quantitative pipettes are used for general transfer rather than accurate measurements. These can be made from glass or plastic. Pasteur and beryl pipettes. Both these types of semi-quantitative pipette use an aspirator bulb. The Pasteur pipette uses a separate rubber bulb and is only for transfers. The barrel pipette is a built-in bulb that can hold more solution. Figure, Pasteur pipette, disposable. Piston-driven air displacement pipettes. Gilson micro pipettes have the most accuracy and precision. They are operated by piston-driven air displacement, creating a vacuum to draw in liquid. Steps to ensure accuracy in pipetting procedures. You can ensure pipetting accuracy by Developing good pipetting practices Submerging pipette tips 3 to 4 mm below liquid when aspirating Holding pipettes at a 45 degree angle Not touching the tip when it holds liquid Moistening a dry pipette tip through repeated drawing and dispensing Maintaining a relative humidity between 50% and 75% Allowing the pipette to rest for over one minute following a volume change. Factors leading to errors in pipetting procedures. These factors can contribute to errors. Heat transfer to the instrument, which expands calibration parts. Operator or technician fatigue. Repetitive strain injuries, RSI, can affect the technique. Pipette calibration. Pipette calibration ensures accuracy. Various factors affect the time between calibrations. An operator's skill and training. The nature of liquid dispensed. Proper handling. The degree of accuracy required. Care and cleaning of labware. The cost of labware and the functions they perform require cleanliness and careful handling. Routine cleaning. Reusable labware must be cleaned thoroughly after each use. Be aware that the heat from dishwashers can weaken plastics. Special types of water, such as instrument feed water, etc., and heavy-duty gloves should be used in washing glassware. Cleaning contaminated labware. After contact with serum control, blood, or other potentially infectious material, OPIM, labware must be decontaminated before it is washed. Labware should be soaked in a disinfectant solution for at least one hour. After the disinfectant is rinsed off, the items should undergo routine cleaning. Safety precautions. Labware safety. There are several ways to improve laboratory safety. Plastic labware will prevent injuries from broken glass. 
glassware should be inspected for damage before use. Damaged glassware must be repaired or discarded. Only heat-resistant glass should be heated. Appropriate PPE must be worn. Equipment safety. Laboratory equipment can be hazardous. Risks include high-voltage electric currents and contamination. All equipment should be used in a safe manner. Preventative maintenance should be performed by trained individuals. Every piece of equipment has specific safety instructions. Summary In this module, you have explored the following topics. Clinical laboratories use a range of labware, both glass and plastic for the storage and preparation of reagents and specimens. Labware is used for different types of measurements depending on their design, such as non-critical measurements and critical measurements. These types of labware include bottles, test tubes, beakers, flasks, pipettes, and different kinds of cylinders. Different equipment can measure and deliver different volumes of reagent to different levels of accuracy. The most accurate are micropipettes, which require several steps to ensure accuracy. Safety precautions, such as using plasticware when possible and employing care when handling glassware, will improve laboratory safety. Laboratory equipment also requires careful use and preventative maintenance to mitigate risks while working.